We're here today with Mark Lindsay, CEO, QSRH. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Who is QSRH? Uh, QSRH is an Australian-owned and growing company. Uh, we own three Australian iconic brands, Red Rooster, uh, Aporto and Chicken Tree. And we've been around since 2007. Uh, we came about as a result of a management buyout process, um, which is really backed by Quadrant Private Equity Group out of Sydney. How is the integration of Chooks Fresh and Tasty into Chicken Treats going? Extremely well. Um, the Chooks acquisition is very strategic for us. Uh, we have a very aggressive rollout plan for that, and particularly uh, we're up to we've we've dealt with three uh, dealt with sorry ten stores to date uh, out of the forty, and we're now in a process of of actually converting three a week. So by the end of April, we plan to have all the Chook stores fully converted over to Chicken Tree. And as a result of that, we're seeing some extremely positive outcomes for franchisees um, in terms of sales growth and particularly leveraging off the cost of goods benefits that this QSR group can provide to these franchisees. So all in all, so far has been a very, very successful um, acquisition from our point of view. Oporto recently expanded into China. How is that going and are there any plans for further expansion? The Chinese experience has been fantastic for, for our group and particularly for Oporto. And I think the secret to that is making sure that you have the right partner. Um, we are very lucky our Chinese partner is um, quite a large operation in the Xiamen province, the uh, Xiamen uh, area of, of China. Um, they are a poultry supplier, so in terms of vertical integration, they've got a lot of capacity. Um, they certainly have ex expansive plans for China and it's a massive market, $60 billion US fast food market. We've got to be there, uh, great partner and they're working very well. They're excited about the uh, product and they're excited about the brand. And you know, we're, we're at a point now that the third store uh, is due to open at the end of March. Um, and once that happens, that marks a really exciting time for your Porto brand. And over the next five years, the development plan will get us to a level that following that five year period, we'll really be on a target of a minimum of 60 stores a year opening strategy. How does QSRH manage and keep three very similar businesses from encroaching on each other? It's an interesting process and strategy for us. While we have three brands that operate within the same market sector, we're very conscious about ensuring that each of the three brands stay true to their market position. So we spend a lot of time uh, identifying the market position, understanding the demographics that each of the brand operates within, uh, and they are all completely different. Uh, Porto brand is very targeted around 18 to 29 market. Um, it's fresh chicken and grilled, fresh, fresh chicken and burgers. Uh, it's very new, young Australian market, and we keep keep our marketing process and activity focused around that. Red Rooster is is core to the 20, 25 really to 39 year old market, uh, young families about meal solutions, both family and individual meal, meal solutions. Um, so it's easy for us to keep the two brands apart. And Chicken Tree is really sits within what we call our, our local consumer market. So again, it's away from, chicken, uh, from Red Rooster and it's a different category from the Oporto brand. So having a very clear marketing position and a very clear demographic helps us keep the three brands apart. What are the plans for Red Rooster? Are you looking at overseas expansion? Red Rooster at the moment has huge growth opportunity within the Australian market, uh, particularly in New South Wales and Victoria. That's our key focus for at least the next five years. Uh, really, we're focused on, on doubling the size of the, of the brand within New South Wales and the Victorian markets each. So that's, we're talking about adding circa 100 stores in the New South Wales market over the next five years and mostly around 80 odd in the Victorian market to give us up to a ratio that's consistent. Look, we're always looking at opportunities um, for overseas, but we see the Australian market with Reds is still underpenetrated, particularly in those two key states. And that's our, our mid to short term focus, if you like. Uh, look, if your partner came along and we thought that that was the best partner for us to help us expand overseas, then certainly we would look at that. But right now it's around the Australian market. Oporto has plans to go into California in Orange County. Tell us a little bit about that. 
As part of the, our strategy for the Porto brand, which we see is, at the moment is our key overseas expansion brand, uh, we're already in the UK, we're in China with uh, that brand. We're about to open in the end of February in America, our first store in the California, in California, in the Orange County. Um, we see again, like China, the US, a huge opportunity to, to grow the brand. Uh, we're a very experienced operator as a partner uh, in that market. It comes with nearly 25 years of uh, fast food experience within that sector. Um, the opportunity for us to develop that once we get past our initial uh, three-store trial phase is quite significant and very excited. So the partner we have, like the Chinese partner, is fantastic. Uh, very focused on the brand uh, in terms of growth opportunities, very significant. So we see that market as well as our Chinese market, the two, two key markets for us in the short term. Mark Lindsay, thanks for your time today with QSR Media. Thank you very much.